Sussex at top of the list. Queen on her way to detoxify unhelpful factors out of royal system. Her Majesty is on the lookout for a new pilot for the Queen's helicopter flight, TQHF. The TQHF is a small team of pilots and ground staff that provides a helicopter service to members of the royal family on official engagements. The successful candidate, a royal household vacancy read, will operate a Sikorsky S-76 C++ helicopter and will cover either the role of co-pilot or pilot in command. The job advert continued, you will be responsible for the planning and safe execution of flights in accordance with TQHF operations manual. In addition to your flying duties you will undertake management tasks and other administrative duties, supporting the director of flight operations. Describing the desired profile of the best possible candidate for this role, the advert also said, as a natural collaborator, you have excellent communication skills and are confident liaising with a wide range according to the Sunday Times, the Sovereign has spent the majority of the last two years in Berkshire and has no plans to return to Buckingham Palace. However, royal commentator Richard Eden suggested earlier this week that the royal household's choice to hire a housekeeping assistant whose job description includes travelling to other royal houses could indicate that the Queen will continue to visit her other homes of people. With high levels of attention to detail and time management skills, you are capable of planning accurate flight plans and are driven to operate consistently to the highest standard. Your initiative and problem-solving skills mean that you can think ahead and act proactively. The royal household's stressed flexibility is key in this role, given the hectic schedule of royals. The job specification said, flexibility is essential as you will be required to undertake travel across the UK and overnight as necessary. The role is based at RAF Odium, with the household requiring the candidate to live within an hour of distance from the Hampshire base. The job involves working for 37.5 hours per week over five days across Monday to Sunday. While royals sometimes fly to engagements to be able to carry out multiple duties in a day, the Queen is also known to have travelled by helicopter over the past few months to move across her households. The Sovereign normally travels to Norfolk via train. However, following her doctor's advice to rest issued in October, she flew twice to Sandringham via helicopter rather than undertake a longer journey on rails. The Queen moved to Windsor Castle from her London home Buckingham Palace in March 2020, shortly before the Prime Minister enforced the first national lockdown. According to the Sunday Times, the Sovereign has spent the majority of the last two years in Berkshire and has no plans to return to Buckingham Palace. However, royal commentator Richard Eden suggested earlier this week that the royal household's choice to hire a housekeeping assistant whose job description includes travelling to other royal houses could indicate that the Queen will continue to visit her other homes. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the monarch returned to Buckingham Palace a handful of times. In May last year, she departed from her London working residence to attend the state opening of Parliament alongside Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. In June, she returned to the palace to hold in person, for the first time in more than one year, an audience with Boris Johnson. Again, the monarch was at Buckingham Palace in October, when she attended with Prince Edward the launch of the Queen's Baton Relay ahead of the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. Last summer, the Queen also headed to Balmoral Castle for the first time since the death of Prince Philip. A few weeks prior, she stayed at the Palace of Holyrood House while undertaking a week of engagements in the nation. Previously, royals feeling repercussions from explosive Meghan Markle and Harry Oprah interview. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey is still sending shockwaves through the royal family one year on while many of the questions raised by the couple's explosive claims remain unanswered, the couple's